Hello oh, and welcome to some NASCAR 87 Legends at Daytona. 2011 Daytona, old Daytona, legacy Daytona, however you want to call it, here in iRacing. We have quite a field here, as usual, huge participation at the Super Speedways. We got a 4.9 strength of field. We're the number 13 out here. We've got Nick and Gavin, because this is their, uh, well, Gavin's time slot. I'm going to get out here so I'm not like the last one. Uh, so I'm actually going to be hanging back this time. I did not qualify. So that's why you're not seeing any qualifying this time. Uh, same idea that Nick and Gavin had and a couple other guys. So I'm going to be hanging back. I'm not going to drop back necessarily. I'm going to try to keep the draft and stuff. But I am going to avoid doing anything too crazy, that's for sure. We got 50 laps out here, and uh, this is of course the post-update 87 car. It doesn't feel quite as different as it does on some of the other tracks, but it does get pretty tight. Uh, it seems like you might actually want to be easier on the car. You always kind of wanted to do that a little bit in the 87 cars, and that's why super speedways aren't quite as bad to drive as more modern cars. Uh, still not my favorite here, but uh, seems like you sh you really should lift off, be a little easier on the car if you can, and uh, well, we'll just have my uh, session best up just for fun, but that's not going to mean anything, obviously. <clears throat> so, uh, the goal is just to survive, I guess. If we survive, we'll probably get an okay finish, especially as the 13, so... I guess that's all I'm really going to be looking to do. This is obviously top split. we got guys with like 8.6k I rating up to, up to the top there. Pretty crazy. Uh, we're going to save a little fuel, because why not? We don't have that data. Of course he doesn't have that data. I don't know why I expected him to, but... <clears throat> Catch up to car number 11. I'm pretty nervous. I think with this update, maybe some of the guys that maybe even just be doing their first 87 race since the update might not realize it's going to get more tight than they remember. And I feel like there's going to be some pushing up in other people's lanes or into the wall and some crashing going on. So part of uh, the reason I wanted to hang back my uh, strategy at these super speedway races in the recent past has been just go for it because you're going to crash anyway. <laughs> so usually I just try to run up front and just have fun while it lasts because it feels like even if I hang back I still get crashed. But um, feeling a little bit different this time. And I'm going to just take it real easy and try not to lose the draft at the same time. Who knows? It's all random here. There's really only so much you can do. And, uh... Okay. About to get going. Go, go, go. Green, green, green. Outside. Still there. Outside, clear. Oh, oh. Super bumpy here. Uh oh, Daytona. Anybody going to be dropping to the back? There's people swerving around, that's for sure. Car outside. Big lift off. Alright, well, that guy did a kick flip. Don't really want to see that, but we're fine. Clear outside if you want it. This guy's. Really all over my bumper. You should really qualify if you don't want to be behind people. Car outside. Go low. Clear high. Wish you would give me a little bit more room here. It's getting all over my back bumper and getting me loose. So I think the idea will be to try to hang back just enough to stay in the draft. 
maybe stay up the track a little bit so that way I can see the wreck sooner and I think they'll slide down the track if they crash real hard. So hopefully by the time we get there on the high side they'll have slid down the track and we can avoid it. Let's see what it actually ends up looking like. That guy's all over the 15's all over the back of Mike up there. We got Mike in here as well, Mike Garaguso. If uh, hopefully that's how you pronounce his name. I don't think I've ever said that out loud, but uh, he's in here as well. But lots of guys we recognize, and a lots of like just crazy fast guys too. So, uh, what an all-star race we got going on here! Basically, 5K strength of field. Probably one of the highest strength of fields I've been in in general. It's probably up there. So far, so good. Seems like everyone's okay. It is only lap four, so you would kind of hope that would be the... Oh. We're getting hit back from behind because of lifting. <sighs> oh, we lost the pack. Fantastic. Right, dude, I tried to back off as soon as I could, but... The gap to Brown ahead is increasing. It's now 2.1 seconds. Well, this is why I love super speedway racing. Because if this goes down to the end, we are just done. We have lost. And uh, that was clearly something skill-based that I did. <laughs> Thank God, Lou. Oh, um, well, we should be able to avoid any wrecks ahead, at least. You would hope. But now it's going to be really boring for a while. And, uh... I'm going to going to try to withhold my complaining about super speedways because no one wants to hear that, including me. So we're just gonna I don't know drive here for a while. You don't want bump drafts. They're really coming. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> Getting used to. I think I'm just gonna let you buy 22. I don't think we're gonna catch him even with bump drafting. I'd rather just not even risk it. Got it. Inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Car inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still inside. Clear. Alright, we will file in here. Hopefully we are not going to be behind a wreck now. Maybe that's just defeatist of me, but I don't know. I don't feel like not only driving around bored, but driving around scared because I don't know if someone's going to give me a bad bump draft. <clears throat> Why are we side by side? Is he backing off now? I guess he is. I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess this race is doing everything it can to try not making this boring for me. God, why are we spinning out? I swear it's not that hard, dude. 
Why are we doing this? I'm gonna get lapped at this rate. That was a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't just stayed up there and got bump draft. Although the guy that was bump drafting me did spin out, so. <sighs> or half spin, you know. Just gonna hang in third. These two can bump draft if they would like. If they think they have a chance, I will go ahead and just follow behind them. Taking care of my tires. It's basically going half throttle through the corners because you don't really need to go full throttle. See Nick and Gavin are back there behind us still. Better watch out though, because who knows, I haven't really done a long run in these cars yet since the update. Maybe those guys are spinning out because there's some really uh, new feelings that you can get from this thing. Maybe it gets real loose if you do a certain thing, exit near the bottom of the corner too hard or something. So uh, I'll be careful, I'll be on my toes. Okay, Presumably everyone in here should be pretty good at a 5k strike the field, so uh, they must know what they're doing to some degree. And still uh, got sideways, so gonna be careful. I'm gonna tread lightly. We got a two car pack up there that looks like it broke off from the lead pack. Looks like we're catching them. That'll be an interesting uh, moment whenever we catch up and have to get around them. I am assuming because we're gonna have more speed. See how that looks. Behind falling back a little bit. Not sure why that would be. Probably just hanging back. I don't know. Someone hit the blue cone at some point. <laughs> it was out there on the track. Let's do session last lap. I don't know. Whatever's the most entertaining is all I care about for the Delta. Like, oh yeah, we went faster this lap. I don't know. Just trying to look for, look for anything I can entertain myself with for now. Oh, that guy's entertaining everybody by hitting the apron and the wall and swerving and a crash. Oh, very kind, whack. What is going on? on man. Yeah, yeah and I ain't gonna do the uh, mid corner ship lanes again. I've nearly eviscerated the outside <laughs> wall like three times, so I'm struggling here. To uh, we're clean for now. Okay, the five is not only getting loose and crashing, but he's going to make a crazy pass. Wow, okay. You go get him, dude. You got 16th. Woo! Round of applause. You did it. Get out front. So now I assume he's going to get it right up on the bumper of the guy in front of him, get uh, the air off his spoiler, and probably going to get him loose, and we're probably going to end up in a wreck. That's my prediction. Let's see if it happens or not. Hopefully it doesn't. I prefer not to be crashed, even if I'm <laughs> not having the most thrilling time, but, you know, I still want to finish well. Tires feel okay. It's not getting super tight or anything. I think I'm doing a good job keeping the car together in one piece. A little bit of the sideways. Maybe that some of the other guys did, but of course we got the 22 absolutely right over my bumper, so that probably contributed as well. Right. With this new update, the left sides do get much more worn. So that could be uh, causing guys to get loose as well. I like that guy. Go low. <sighs> Sorry about that, Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
might be the most wrecks we've seen without an actual caution. Sorry about that, boys, for the scare. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else to say with that. Yeah. It was pretty scary, actually. Cautions don't exist in this universe, though. In 1987's cautions weren't in invented yet, so. Uh, Alright, the cooler's about to get turned. Looks like he's getting real close for no reason. Jordan, go by me. I just want to follow the bad guy. French, he's leading the race. He's letting him by. I hope we don't have to do green flag pit stops. I didn't really practice that at all. I've done it in this car before. But obviously we're gonna go long, it's not like we're losing any speed, but what we do have to uh, call two or two four, four, or is that confidential? Um, yeah. No, that it's not confidential. Both work, but take two at your own risk. I have one in on two tires when everyone else took four. But I might not do it ever again. I I might take zero tires, I don't know. So for the pack it's not gonna matter. And uh, taking two We're tires gonna, is going to get it really loose, but taking no tires, well, the tires are still even then. I don't know. Just a theory. Obviously, we're going as long as possible. <laughs> Save some fuel. <laughs> Wouldn't that be goofy if you mild some mild address or they tell him where you gotta clutch the corners? <sighs> Seven point five gallons. Way too much to save though. Oh, you aren't lying. Looking like a super speedway race, though. Not too dissimilar. It stinks, because I've had some... Like, my schedule, my work schedule this week is very different than it normally is. So I got Monday off and was able to participate in the beginning of the week races. And then I also have Wednesday off today, so I was able to participate in Gavin's uh, 87 time slot, viewer time slot. But <laughs> both the Silver Crown and this are essentially super speedway races. Silver Crown being at Las Vegas, it was basically a super speedway. And Daytona here, like, picked a bad week to be yeah. off work, but still happy to be here. I come into this race knowing what it is, so try to find enjoyment where I can. Go by, go by, right rear streaming. Mm -hmm. My car feels fine. Still not even close on fuel. I don't see Gavin. It's way back there. I wonder if they were uh, trying. Yeah, yeah. One, Thirty years. Nice. Nice. I think that 23 up there is having some serious handling issues. It's concerning me a little bit. I just it, it really looks like he's on said old or checking up right here but <laughs> okay okay 
sure are driving right now. <sighs> I feel like I need some guest commentary right now. Like there's nothing going on. <laughs> I mean, if this just stays like this for the rest of the way, I mean, 16th, that's whatever is the 13th. We'll lose 27 ironing according to this. We can see some guys crash it trying to hit pit road. Seems very possible, especially if they're having uh, handling issues. I wish I was leaving. The required fuel keeps going down. It's interesting. Nothing more than interesting, though. I don't think it's going to be enough to make any sort of difference. We'll do that a little bit, I guess. Like, you just, you can't be off the gas that long. That's the problem. You can do the partial throttle, but then you kind of have to get back full throttle to get caught back up, so it's kind of pointless. But we'll keep an eye on it, just in case. Looks like Gavin, Nick, James are back there in a backpack. Backpack. <laughs> that pack in the rear. They're not like in a school backpack. <laughs> Sitting in the backpack. Uh, I'm losing my mind. I say this every time, but I just I don't understand why this is so popular. I, I just it has to be just because anybody can win. I don't know. Coming up on halfway. It's always close racing. That's I mean that's always kinda neat. Like you always Almost always get pretty good finishes, like exciting finishes, you know? Um, they passed me, I Parker. Positives, right? Six point eight gallons. Seventeen laps of fuel or so left at the moment. That is getting pretty close. It's definitely going to be a splash and go for me. So no tires at all. That's not happening. It's going to be splash and go. Call me crazy, but that's what I'm doing. This, of course, assuming this will go green. Crew chief should automatically set the fuel as much as it I need to get to the end. Very useful tool to have, of course, when it works. <laughs> it works most of the time, except for apparently Nick's hosted races, where it decides to freak out. That might be because it's the Arca car or something. I don't know. Six point three gallons. That's dropping. That's dropping a significant bit. Okay, we got fifteen and a half left. We might make it to the end. No, I'm just getting eager, right? 38, 48, yeah, we would still need to make up some laps. But if everybody I mean, can please turn on all teams. Brian Hicks is going to have an announcement in the next 30 to 45 seconds. Please turn on to all teams. Okay. Team, I can't get it on all teams. I don't know how to do that. I thought that's how you did that. Wow, all teams. Why are you trying to pass me? Okay, all teams announcement in 10 seconds to Brian Hicks. Please stand by. Stay high, clear inside. Five, four, three. Uh huh. Hello? Check. Hello, can anybody hear me? What a great announcement so far.
Fantastic announcement. Very enlightening. Knocked my socks off with that one. Can't hear Gavin. Never mind then. Twenty two is gonna go win it, I guess. He wanted to make some passes. Hey, do you wanna do some guest commentary? This race got really boring. Okay. Seeing if my fiance wanted to talk to me, so I'm not bored during this race. <laughs> she was walking by. <sighs> I can see why he's swerving on the Probably oval. 6.2 gallons. Just gonna go long. No reason to pit. I don't know why we're racing. Gotta match my speed since we guys pitted. Gotta give this guy room since he wants to be pitting in. Maybe he'll wreck. There he goes. Bold strategy. We'll see how that works out for him. You can hear everyone still, right? Man, I think that quote-unquote announcement messed up my chat, potentially. Why is this guy all over my bumper? Get away from me. <laughs> no reason for it. Down to five gallons. Obviously still not enough, but... The less the less fuel we have to take, the better, since I'm going no tires. Twelfth place. Man, this windshield's dirty. Someone get me that uh, Dale Earnhardt broom, squeegee, or whatever he had. <laughs> and wipe the front windshield for me. Every time I drive this car, it seems like the windshield gets super messy, and I can see more and more why he did that. It's a darn mess. It's distracting me. Just give me a number, Kevin. I'll let you know. The lead is bidding now. I'm gonna try and hang on to these guys as long as I can. 5.6 gallons. <sighs> How are we doing two or four? We gotta do four. We're doing four. You gotta be kidding me, man. I'm taking zero. We'll, we'll come in next time. No idea what that was in the middle of the straightaway, but. All right. Start going down out of four. Be conservative. Mm. We're in the top ten. We're in the top ten. Wow. It shouldn't. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I'm gonna wait another lap. 
wonder if anybody could possibly make it. There's no way, right? There's just, like, no way you can really save fuel. Oh my god, why? Bye. Give you a chance to save some more fuel for a second. Really does not matter. I'm putting here, miss. She's starting. Tenth position. Ben, Mike, I'm also pitting, but please don't run me over. I'm gonna start going down. See in this here. group? No. Save it as much as possible. There goes someone. I don't quite understand peeling off alone. That seems like a horrible strategy. Oh, you want to join in? Yeah. All right. Welcome to absolutely nothing. <laughs> we are lab 38 out of 50. Um, what? 50? Yeah, and these oh, races are usually a little longer. We're most of the way through it already. Um, we got people just heading into the pits. Yours. <laughs> Your car's dirty. I know, that's what I was saying. I need a, like, squeegee or something. Reach up front and clean the windshield. This guy's pitting in front of me. Inside. I'm staying out Very as long inside. as possible. That's my strategy right now. Um, I, my plan, everyone's coming in to get tires and fuel. And I need fuel, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, take a very tiny bit of fuel, and take no tires and get out of there really quickly and try to finish the race. Do you think that's going to work? Maybe. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. <laughs> I think maybe is about as good as I can hope for. But uh, it's, it actually has turned into quite a really interesting strategy race here because of all that. The guy in front of you has cookie monster colors. <laughs> yeah. The blue and like yellowish. What's the blue and gray stuff? I'm not gonna hit him. He might be pitting though. He is pitting. Uh, I'm staying. I don't know how big your tires are. Just by feel. Um, you can tell once you go into the pits. It'll tell you what your tires are doing. But uh, for now. Why is he pitting but you? I told you. It's because I'm trying to stay out as long as possible. Oh, mm. three laps. We'll see if that works. Yeah, yeah. Like I said. I don't know about. This. But uh, yeah, I'm on two minutes. Got people behind us, I guess. Right front suspension damage. I just felt like I wasn't actually going all that much slower than uh, like anybody else. So I feel like I don't need tires. So I'm just going to stay out in fuel as much as I can, goodbye, 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 goodbye. as much as I want. Uh, a caution could come out at any point, which would really help us. I think that got dirty the, uh, so as long as I don't run this thing completely uh, out of fuel, it should be good. Oh hey, there's Nick Neiman. He's one of the YouTubers I watch. Hello. <laughs> he, he can't hear you, but... I know. See, I can't watch this. It looks like you're gonna hit them. I had it. I had it under control. So, we'll give him a little bit of draft, I guess. That's not good. Don't help them. I'm just oh, kidding. I want to help Nick. Nick's cool. <laughs> it doesn't really hurt me to help him out in this way either. So. Nick. Nick, 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 do. No idea if this is going to work, but at least it makes an otherwise very boring race interesting with a little bit of strategy. So he helps me out too, and whenever someone's right behind you, that'll make you a little bit faster as well. So, uh, how do I tell him he's going? I'm going to pit if he doesn't have any ability to see that. Um, uh, either talk to. Him. I can't. See, that's the thing. 
I sped is what's happening. Nick was right on my bumper and I couldn't... I couldn't tell him that I was pitting. Oh lord! Now I'm just off, not focused. Well, that might have worked, but... I couldn't tell him that I was pitting. You hurt him. You hurt the dude with the brakes on. Yeah. This is why they don't let me be a real driver. I run people over. We need to come in for this penalty. Well, my race is ruined, but. Uh oh. Yeah, I feel that like stinks. it's my fault. <laughs> no, it was just. I didn't have any way of telling Nick that I was pitting. That's the problem. And so I didn't want to slam on the brakes in front of him. I, I could. I guess I should have swerved on the back stretch to tell him, but. How is your race ruined? Uh, speeding in the pits. See here, hold for 40 seconds. That's like an entire lap, so. Uh, there's nothing I can do anymore. Bruh! <clears throat> did I get fuel? I didn't get fuel. Okay. Well, that stinks. Sabotage. Let me stop. Yeah, he, he did it on purpose. He, he wanted, he wanted to pass me. But it's funny. Wow, you better step on that gas. No way, I'm gonna spin out. I'm on all tires. Okay, never mind. This what the heck? Okay, it didn't turn. Now I get another penalty. That's cool, right? So it didn't turn at all. Maybe I should have commented. I swear it's not you. I swear it's not. <sighs> well this sucks. You got the Make sure I can keep it on the apron this time. Well, you've got three laps to serve this penalty. So now I gotta come in again because it didn't turn and I went above the line. I guess. I don't know, I kind of lost focus. Maybe it wouldn't have happened anyway, but maybe it would have happened anyway, since... Wow. Yeah. I'm going to basically finish last now. Wow. I'm to blame. No, you're not. I'm to blame. I'm never commenting again. I'm the one to blame. I got 20 whatever seconds. The race is going to be over here soon. Really? What? It's already over? So you have 50 laps? Yeah, I told you we were already on 38 whenever you came in. I don't know how big. I thought laps were big. That didn't seem like a lot. Well, they're about 45 seconds, the laps, so. Well, All right, serving the penalty. Okay, now we're out to finish last. Yeah, hit that core's light. <laughs> you can't even. You know, leave with a bang. No. Maybe. No. I know what you're thinking. No, we're not doing that. That's how you get banned from my racing. I said I hit the course light car, not anything else. What am I thinking? <laughs> I thought you meant like, well, your race is ruined. Go swerve in front of them. No. But, like, this is why you're not allowed to have an amazing <laughs> account. I mean, that's something I do. Oh, wow, they're wrecking. Oh, my God. You can win. Oh, yeah. I cannot win. Are you kidding me? Oh god! Don't get hit! Uh, Should be fine. Uh, I'm there going for you, I. Silver caution? <laughs> now the race is definitely over. Uh, Ben... Ben White says sorry for it. He said he couldn't take up. Oh, wait. Let the 14 by. No, I didn't want to start a bigger mess in front of me, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let the 14 oh, now let the 14 by again. Damn it. What do you mean go? No, let the 14 by again. The race is over. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Now we just have to complete the laps. Yeah. Todd, the race is over. That was fun. Man, that, uh, yeah, you should have pitted when they all pitted. <laughs> I mean, I think my strategy might have been good, but Nick was just right on my bumper. He was probably trying to help me. I mean, there's better ways I could have handled it, too. I'm not blaming him. I'm saying, He's like, him. no. He's blaming him. I'm not. 
I should have, like, on the backstretch, I should have anticipated it and swerved down knowing that he can't hear or see any text that I send, so. Well. I'll catch him half second a lap on the phone. Yeah, we're flying. I, just, I don't know. No, well, I don't even know what we'll have to put on, but I feel like once you call it's like 32, 33, it might be too late. I was hoping to catch him in the clip. Well, let's see. 21st is at last. Oh, God, no. Okay, not dead last. Yeah, I might just have to be Wow, what an definitely. accomplishment. <laughs> not last. I did not get tired of lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Who was? I think uh, Gary was making, uh, Blake McCandless. The Congrats. He's a really good racer, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, Parker and Ben, did you guys take two or four? I'm not lying. I'm going to tell Gavin what happened. If I can, i got to text and drive. We did too. <laughs> we did too. I'm going to text and drive. How many times have I told you? I like, uh, the advantage of the get around you, you just hit the tight phase of time. Um, That's when you're left left up though. I sped. Oh, oh, it's it's yeah, it seems like you guys are hitting the tight phase and we were just going into our loose phase, so it was about to get good. Yeah, like, it didn't really help that Kevin made a period when I locked it up. That's oh, you're blaming it? Oh, uh, uh, it's not making me sound like a bad person. <laughs> He's gonna watch this and cry. Yeah, I think there's two competing strategies that were hit early before and try and make up the time on the racetrack before everyone else hits, or hit late in two and put the other tire advantage at the end. Is that Nick here? No, I'm telling that to Gavin. Oh my god, you're gossiping. I haven't figured out what was the better one yet. Got a penalty for unsafe entry and don't know why. What? Lemons. I got it. White flag. Stay smooth. Sucks. That's what I'm going to say. I'm really bad at multitasking here. I'm like swerving all the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, texting and driving, gossiping. I know, I know. <laughs> What design is your car? Uh, it's some old uh, hockey equipment company. Mm. Generally in this series you try to like have paint schemes that have like older designs because it's the 1987 car and so it's like some old company that doesn't exist anymore, hockey equipment. And I kind of did that because, you know, my, my stepdad and my brother both really like hockey. So it was like, Shall oh, okay, cool, like hockey. I don't know. I've had it for a while. I might change it out sooner or later, but... 21st. Terrible. It's good. No, it's not. <laughs> it's better than... Anyways. Technically so better than last, I guess, but... It's my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. You made this more bearable. Thank you for stepping in to have someone to talk to since nothing's happening on the track. Some Arby's fries. Oh, yeah. Got some french fries here. Are open. So we get the most boring ending to this race, finishing under caution. Whee. We can pretend we're like in, what, sixth place? Because that's where we are positionally on the track, behind the pace car. Can we pass them? No. <laughs> that's why it says stay behind the 14 oh, car. I don't read. I, don't well, I can't read. read. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. So another fantastic super speedway race in the books is what it is. You're gonna hit them! Nah. Okay. I'm gonna pull over here in a second. Just gotta find a safe place to do it. The tires are awful right now, so I gotta gently bring it to a stop or else I'll loop myself in the brakes. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Catch the ten, car. Catch the pace car. Catch the pace car. Hitting. Uh, uh, Nick should be able to see messages now.
<laughs> uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, maybe I should have been able to stop in time, but by the time I felt like I was comfortably away from behind him, it was already too late to slow down in time. I don't know, I'll take a look at it. I don't want to blame anyone else for my issues. Like like I said, I could have obviously... Did I miss you up on a tree? I sped. It's okay. Well, darn text limits. Because uh, I was the only one out there, I think, trying to do what I was doing. Uh, see, the tires felt so bad, but they really were only in like the 69, 74 era. <laughs> era. Era. I don't know why I said era. Benjamin, I thought that's a Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, think. the 87 cars bring out some of the old timers. <laughs> so, let's see, where was Pit in? That was real late here. Uh, Would have been right here, I believe. Come on. Where was it? Where did I pit? I don't know. Is it ready? Not there. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he was super close. Ah! Yeah, see, but that's the thing, he can't hear or, uh, um, he doesn't have his text chat, so I couldn't tell him, and I realized that when I was in the corner, that I should have been, like, back here, done a little, like, swerve to the left to tell him that I was going to be pitting, because that's kind of like the sign language <laughs> for, uh, pitting in. And so, like, here I'm like, oh, I'm trying to stay away from him. I guess I could have stayed lower, too. And he was just trying to help. Yeah, I th I'm sure he was just trying to get draft and give draft. The drama. And then here, I can't really break any more than that, because you can see I'm starting to get sideways. But... The sadness. I don't want to like throw all the. You know, there's th there's definitely a several things I could have done better, but uh, <laughs> let's see uh, the accidents incidents. Yay. I know this is your favorite part. <laughs> Always skipping straight to the crashes. Yeah. Anytime you watch a video. <laughs> so, lap one. We're getting started early. Is this? That's just a little bit of apron. That's nothing. Oh, green car. Ooh, yeah, I remember nice. that. Ouch, ow. That's a big hit. So, that got, yeah, the lime car. So, this is what I saw. I saw I was coming up behind these guys. And uh, that guy got the wall and, like, bounced off a little bit. And uh, kind of, like, gets sideways. And so, uh, here I'm lifting off. And this guy wasn't quite as able to lift off. I think we just <coughs> avoid him. And then I oh, just kind of get stuck behind him. Yeah, you aren't here yet, so you didn't see this at all. But, like, this guy spent, like, a year and a half trying to save the car. Wait, are you 13 or 2? 13. Ah. Yeah, I'm the black That's even one. crazier. Yeah, so I was just, like, really waiting for him to gather it up, because he was right there, and I didn't want to just, like, swerve in the top lane, because I thought maybe some people might be coming, and, uh, that's kind of, like, the first thing that kind of ruined my race, because, you see, they're all up there, and I'm all the way back here. And uh, at this track, you really want to be close behind guys for draft. Yeah. So. Then we got lap six. Looks like that's going to be a wall hit. <clears throat> oh, wow. He just barely keeps it off Mitch there. Thankfully, he was able to do that. Blinking. 
Mike. Ooh, here's another thing that I was right behind. Guess who's the first car back here somewhere? Oh, wait. I thought it was me. Oh, maybe he did this at another point. God, <laughs> another point. Because I swear this is the same oh, guy that Dunkin'. did something looking a lot like that. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. Is that same guy, I swear, did that same thing another time. I don't know why we're seeing it twice. Was that a different instant? Is he just doing that over and over? I think he's just doing the same thing over and over again. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is the one I was buying. He was laughing. Yeah, don't laugh. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, that guy had multiple issues, apparently. He just could not hold it up under him, and so I had to avoid another crash. Everybody did a good job of avoiding it there, though. So we got this blue chrome looking car into the wall. Bump drafting for the lead, sending that guy on the wall. Oh, Lord. Oh. Somehow avoid crashing. Oh. Yeah, that was, I'm sure he had a, was crazy. He had a big handful there. It looks like the six was ready to make a move on him. Oops, not back that far. Six was ready to make a move on him because he had a big run, and the two go down goes down to block it and the six is like all right well i'm just gonna keep going i think he probably tried to give him a bump draft rather than just send him out there but just some pretty aggressive racing near the front Hello. that's what i looked like and who knows like even if i didn't sp speed on entry maybe i still would have done a lot of the other things i did like get messed up on heading into my pits like that. Like, even though I lost focus there, like... I probably would have done that anyway, so... Run over his toes. I don't know. <laughs> no! Oh. oh. So this is the crash that finally brought out the caution. The final caution in the race. That car got by it. I saw that happening ahead of me. And uh, that's what ended it. <laughs> yeah, nothing going on there but some blinking because that's going to be the end of the race. And then it's just guys messing around taking the road course. <laughs> but it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, just guys having fun at this point. So that was a little disappointing, but uh, oh well. Fun. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had fun. I hope people watching had fun too, for what it was. Um, finished three laps down. Fortunately, it seems like uh, Gavin had issues as well. Let's see, he said he had unsafe pit entry and he didn't know why. So we'll see what it looks like. Maybe we can yeah, let's stop find him. out. Stalking. Was it here? No, I don't think it was. Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Yeah, that's his, that's his thing. Diet Dr. Pepper cars. Unsafe pit entry, let's see. It's fine so far. I don't think you can be on the left side of that cone. Well. I think that might be what it is. But that 21 car was there. Yeah. <clears throat> but... I think that might have been why he got that penalty. I could be wrong, but that's uh, with lack of any other information. We'll keep what? Right? No, it, that... it would have been pit entry, so it would have been um, right there that he would have gotten it. So I, I botched pit, the whole pit cycle, no matter what, I think. Before, during, and after. <laughs> so, it is what it is. I'm not too torn up. Expectations were low. <laughs> but, uh, thanks for watching and thank you for joining me. Thank also, you. for being a guest commenter. <laughs> Letting me comment. Yeah, no problem. And, uh, I will see you all next time. Next have, time. have a good one. <laughs>